Hi, I'm Misha Daniel, and welcome to the new Google Classroom Locked Quiz Walkthrough. This is really, really cool. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to build an assignment that's a quiz within Google Classroom for our students. So I'm going to open up my Google Classroom here, and I'm going to click on Classwork. And now I'm going to click Create, and you'll see that one of the options there is Quiz Assignment. When the quiz assignment loads, it automatically is going to create a blank Google form that I will be able to use as a quiz. However, I have just given a quiz to the rest of my class, and one of my students attempted to take it, but his Chromebook turned off. Yeah, probably from not charging it. Anyway, I'm going to need to search for that quiz in my Google Drive. There's my Sharp quiz that I've already created. I'm going to add it to the assignment. And now I'm going to delete the other one because I, I won't need it. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to top, hit that little toggle switch there to make sure that the locked quiz feature is turned on. This will lock the Chromebook in, in the quiz and no outside websites, no outside anything will be allowed until that quiz is completed or the student clicks out of the quiz. Here's the tricky part. You will know that the student clicked out of the quiz. All right. All right. So I'm only going to assign this quiz for the innovative learning, so no one else in the class is going to see it, just him. And I, I click Assign, and now Innovative will get the assignment. So what does this look like from the student side? Unfortunately, I can't screencast from my Chromebook, so I have to actually take a little bit of video of a screen. So here's what it looks like from the student view. Okay. So I'm going into the Google Classroom as Innovative. I've just logged into the Chromebook. I'm going to open up the quiz. Oh no! I don't know any of these answers. <laughs> but I'm sure I can find some of this information online. So there's a close quiz feature right there in the top right. So I'm going to click on that. Oh, well, what's this? Hmm. I'm sure my teacher is not going to check her email. So I think I'm good. I'm going to get some information about these sharks. Okay, now I'm ready to open up my quiz again. And let me answer these questions and hit submit. Whew, look at that. I got 100. Yay, I am just so smart. All right, now we're going to look at it from the teacher side again. Okay, so here I am as a teacher, I'm a diligent teacher, and I am checking my email, and something is popping out at me. Hmm, innovative reopened the quiz today. Hmm, he knows the rules, so I will grade him accordingly. I'm going to go into the classroom, go to grades, and now innovative will receive. A zero for cheating because Google always knows everything. The locked quiz feature is so great for teachers and it will alert you if a student goes into that quiz a second time which means they're trying to circumvent the whole locked quiz feature, the kiosk mode that it puts it into. Thank you for watching and have a great day.